Hi there, Nicole, Lake Erie Prepper here. Uh, this is for a VR for Share the Love Giveaway by Great American Survival. Check out his channel if you haven't. Um, he is giving away two hammocks. You're supposed to name one person that you feel deserves the hammock. I am naming Shalissa Shell. She has the most beautiful heart and mind and soul of anyone I've met. She's dedicating all of her time to, you know, sending postcards and stickers and putting personalized messages on all these. She just sent out 65 yesterday, and I just, you know, she's she's got a lot of health problems she's, she's dealing with, yet she still is a big part of this community, and... I just think she has just a beautiful soul. So I'm naming her as the second person that I wish would receive the hammock. So she can rest and relax and enjoy the spring and summer that are coming up. Now, the story that I would like to share is every year my family would go to um, camp on Labor Day weekend. And it was called Camp Sabrowski. And we'd all stay inside the dorm, and, you know, we had the bunk beds, and it was just a really cool atmosphere. You know, we had woods behind us, we had the pond, you could pontoon and canoe and fish and all that outdoor stuff. Well, <clears throat> we always played this game called Spoons, and we would all sit around the picnic table or set up a table and sit around it. You'd get a deck of cards, and you if you had six people, you would put five spoons on the table. And you'd go around, and whoever collected four of a kind first would grab a spoon, and the person who didn't grab a spoon was then out of the game. This game would get so, so intense because you could, like, smack the table and, like, fake people out. <clears throat> and I will never forget the time... My mother. My mother had played this game with the family all throughout her life at Camp Sabrowski every year. And I'll never forget the time she grabbed the spoons. We were actually indoors in the lodge and there was a long hallway. She grabbed this thing of spoons because she had four of a kind. And she whipped them down the hallway. And you talk about people getting up and moving. I mean... We were fighting over these spoons, and it was just, I mean, the younger kids, you could all see, they, they, they couldn't wait till they got a little bit older so that they could play with us, because, you know, it tended to get a little violent at times, but it was fun, and I, that's just one of, one of the best memories that I have of being at camp was waiting for nighttime to come, and being able to play spoons with the family, it just... It brought us together. Yes, some of us may have battle scars from the game, but um, it was definitely fun times for camp. Made for, you know, a lot of stories. A lot of stories to tell around the campfire of past years. And just an all-around good time. So um, that was my camp story that I have, you know, good memories with the family. Um, good luck to everybody out there. Um, it's very nice to meet you. I'm catching up on a bunch of your videos right now, so I'm hoping to get to know you a lot more. I am fairly new to the community, and again, that uh, my name is Nicole Lake Erie Prepper. I live on Lake Erie, um, and I share the same enthusiasm as everybody else in this community. I'm so happy I stumbled upon this community because I feel like I'm complete now and not a complete goofball because every time I mention prepping or you know bushcrafting or anything like that everyone kind of looks at me like cockeyed like you do what but now that I found a community I and everyone has made me feel like I belong so I just want to thank everyone and I can't wait to get to know you you seem like a very awesome man um yeah we'll be seeing you soon uh, have a good evening thank you